Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Snack Attack 8, talking in a really creepy voice. And today, we're gonna do some Metroid bonus stuff, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm, I'm done with that. Anyway, <laughs> that sometimes things that just come out when I press that little record button astound even me. Um, today, we're gonna do some passwords. Not passwords. And the game's nice enough to ask us, please, so. You know, we should probably put some of those in. Um, I'm going to show off two that aren't given by the game and do secret, cheaty, Cody stuff. And I'm also going to show a glitch, and that's going to make up um, our Metroid NES uh, bonus video. So the first one we're going to do is this one called... Well, if I can put it in. I just... I hate, like, being like, and it's called... It's called... It's called... Because, like, it takes forever to type it out, and you're like... What? Why are you saying that? It's not even done, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't know anything. I just don't know anything at all. Um, this password is Narpus Sword, and then a whole bunch of zeros, or maybe it's like Narpus Sword. Oh, but not really, because that this is the O, and we're using zeros there. Um, this password, uh, it's kind of like weird and cryptic, and. Um, apparently, or I've heard that Narpus Sword is actually NAR password, and the NAR stands for, I've heard it's both, either, I've heard either not a real password, or North American release, I don't know which one it officially is, or if it's officially anything, but that's the password, so if we put that in, um, we start here, at the, uh, main area, or the first area, I think if you morph fall, or no, if you go missiles, you can come out as the, um, as the various suit. Anyway, Narpa Sword has, it starts you off here with the high jump, and the screw attack, and obviously you can see the various suit, and there are missiles, and it has this weird ice beam, which, um, if you see, the beam shots actually look like the ones that the wave beam fires, but they freeze, and their ice beam shots, like, that, that's, I think that's the power they have. Um, so it almost looks like it's like it's what would happen if you try to combine the ice and the wave beam in this game, um, but it's really weird. Anyway, another thing you can do with Narpa Sword is you your Samus's energy in this weird glitchy password cheat world can't go below 29 um, points, but if we do this, it also can't go. I think it can't go above 30. Some hold on here. Let me see that. that yeah, see, it can't. I, there's a there's a limit on 30 that it can't go above either. So really, it almost in effect gives you invincibility because you can't go below 29. I think maybe it's 39 that you can't go above. That sounds right. You can't go above 39. So it, when it gets to that, it starts going back down, and then when it gets to 29, it starts going back up. Um, so it's really weird. And I think in this mode, uh, you have infinite missiles. I think. Yes. And I think when you get a missile expansion, I don't think you can even get anything from it. They're all still in the game, but you can't, like, get any... Like, you, as you can see, the missile meter isn't up there. Um, so def definitely a very strange password. Um, if you're a cheater, Mick, a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, you can uh, use it, I guess, to play. I don't know if um, Ridley and Kraid have been defeated in this password. I'm not sure if they have. I know there's another one where it starts you with both of them beat... Uh, but I don't know if it has in this, so if you want to know that, feel free to look it up. Um, so that's Narpa Sword. I'm going to quickly off-screen and come back with a different password. Um, so I'll meet you back at the uh, Enter screen. Okay, so the next password I'm going to show off is one that after I type it out, I will tell you what it is. But, I mean, if you're familiar with the passwords in Metroid, my bad. Uh, I messed it up there a little bit. Um... If you're familiar with the Metroid password, you probably know this one too. Um, this password is Justin Bailey, and a whole bot, a whole lot, a whole bot, a whole lot of these um, hyphens, and then you press it. You press start. Um, this one starts you in Norfair, and as you can see, um, Samus is not wearing her power suit. Now you can unlock this mode on your own by getting the. Um, any uh, or any ending when you finish the game in over three hours, um, 
and it's basically it's pretty much the same thing I'm pretty sure I think Samus has in this mode I think she all she does have various suit abilities which is like half the damage um, and it's just kind of cool it's a cool incentive I think to try to beat the game as best you can but if you can't like me <laughs> um, you can enter the Justin Bailey password uh, now you can see here Samus has uh, I think possibly all the missiles I don't know she has five energy tanks and there's still another one out there that you can get uh, maybe you only have 205 missiles let me see if I can get some more if it's possible no okay so you start with 205 missiles and obviously you've got the screw attack and the high jump and the wave beam um, and now in this password um, Ridley and Kraid have already been defeated uh, so really all you need to do if you want to beat the game this way and I guess this is an easy way you could see the best ending if you really cared that much to see it um, this you can use this and all you really have to do is get the ice beam so you can beat the metroids and then go straight to mother brain um, cause you don't, I don't think you need or I'm pretty sure you don't need 100% completion to get the best ending um, that I just wanted to do that to show it off for the LP it's not necessary like in some of the prime games maybe all the prime games I really should get my uh, facts straight but whatever um, now I'm going up here because there's one last thing I want to show you which is a glitch um, and I didn't really even know this existed until I got asked about it from the famished Forky who's one of my viewers um, he asked if I was going to be doing this glitch and I didn't ever respond to that now that I think about it which is rude of me um, I'm sorry to you if you're watching but uh so here's the glitch you want to go in this room here and shoot a door and kind of walk through it but don't really so you get kind of trapped in here and then oh, I did it wrong but it almost worked I did a little bit of it right so if you do it here, hold on. I did this perfectly on my first try when I was practicing it um, and I just know it's not gonna work this time no 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 I didn't want I did not want that uh, okay well I may uh, I may cut this if I don't get it in the next few tries. Oh wait, that looked no. Come on, I did this perfectly last time. Okay, so if you just saw that, um, what you want to do is stand partially in the door and wait till it closes around you. Then you want to mash A as repetitively as you can, and um, press down on the directional pad. And instead of going into more fall you'll like climb up here and you can get above um, you can get above the room now I think you can also do that if you mash A and press like up I think maybe you can go down and like get down there but you can also get through here like you can jump around here it's like weird and free floaty um, they c this is called the door glitch uh, it's pretty well known which is surprising that I didn't know it um, thanks to the again the famished Porky for um, pointing out that I should show this off because it is kind of cool there are other places I think in the game where you can do stuff like this um, this is the only one I know but if you want I'm gonna leave it up to you guys see like you can even see Samus's little blaster there on the side this game is programmed I've found um, and I don't know if any of this is technically correct but it's kind of like like it's almost like you know, like in a, for an example, in Super Mario 2, where you run off one side of the screen and you come back on the other side, um, I found like Metroid is programmed like that. It just it doesn't let you. So sometimes, like say if you destroy an enemy and it like explodes over here, you can see half of the explosion over on that side. Um, so it's sort of like it's they started it off like that and then they changed it so that it could be like, you know, a one screen game and you progress forward and go right and left and stuff. Um, I just thought that, I think that's kind of interesting stuff. But anyway, this is what pretty much all that's up here. There's nothing really else. There's a bunch of like weird glitchy stuff again that I think you can or that I've said that you can do with this uh, door glitch. But this is the only place I'm going to show it. Um, and so that's going to be the end of this uh, brief bonus segment. Um, I'll just take this time to say, I uh, see. Look, this is so weird. Like, how how is power suitless Samus doing this? And the jump looks really weird, too. There's just, I don't know, something about that's strange to me. How is she laying the bombs? And apparently she still has a gun hand, though in all other iterations, um, Samus has two hands and a gun, uh, which is weird. Um, 
butt. And she has green hair. And a leotard. Uh, and I should go back to what I was saying before. Um, I've been Snack Attack 8. I really enjoyed this project. I can't wait to um, do Prime. I'm really, really excited for that. There's something short um, I'm going to do before that. I think I'm going to record the first part of that tonight. I apologize for um, having taken a little break there. I was doing a little R&R kind of stuff. Um, and uh, just kind of relaxing, enjoying the summer. Uh, but that was just... that w it's it, That's not like a hiatus or anything. I was just being lazy. Um, so sorry for that little break. But I'm going to be bringing back Tales of Symphonia soon. I'll probably upload one of those the day I put this up. Um... Then my little short project will come soon after that. And then, once that's completed, we'll start Metroid Prime. Um, so thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, you've been great. I've been less than great, I would I would say, but I hope you don't think that. Um, and that's going to be the end of this LP, so until next time. I think I already said this in the last episode, but I didn't say it in this weird voice. Uh, I'm Snack Techie, and I'll see you guys next time. Later!